this will work this will work um but anyway i'm delivering out to this airport of sorts and this kid hands me two drinks still going nomad build uh i doubt for this setup um for this one we probably won't um i get these two drinks and they're like just in styrofoam cups with the straws in them and they're like little six ounces like think a little bit smaller than this type of cup but anyway drive out to everything's fine i put them in my cup holders all is good drive them out to this dude this dude comes out and he's like please don't tell me those are the fucking drinks and he just starts like freaking out cussing at me he's not mad at me he's mad at this restaurant and i'm just like i'm kind of sitting there like arms up like hey man i i know i can't really control this i know that's their policy it's like it's illegal to put straws in the drinks do you like why do you think mcdonald's doesn't do that like you're not allowed to uh, drive with straws in your drinks and everything like that i'm calling them up I'm like yeah give them a call and let them know which i threw the restaurant under the bus then completed that order it was fine it was whatever next order pops up for the same restaurant i go back to the restaurant and i'm sitting there and like i i was going to warn them and i felt bad i'm like man i don't want to screw over the restaurant because i mean like who cares it's drinks in like little cups you know it doesn't really matter I went and back to the restaurant and the dude, the, the guy, the waiter there, he's sitting on the phone and he's like, and he gets off the phone. And he's just like, Hey, quick question for you, Come man. On, yeah. What's up? up? Was the guy that you delivered to a complete asshole? Oh and I just lost it. Like, yes, I was just about to warn you about him. Oh he's like, God. dude, he just called me MF and me and everything. He was freaking out, losing God. his mind. This dude apparently said he's gonna straight up sue this restaurant because they put straws in their cu in these cups of Coke. That was my, that was one of the weirdest and most irate customers I've dealt with today, and that was my unsubstantial story that I got for today on Uber. That was my weekend, but how was yours? Anyways, we've got a now private lobby of Boss Rush. We've got me as our soldier. We've got. Faint as our sniper, we've got Nexus as our scout, Overconfident Yo as our engineer, and then we've got Smooth Operator as our heavy. I was gonna go a bit more of a nomad build, but then we ended up getting Relic, and you know, I kinda go by the dice here. So, we ended up, uh, like, I don't need Hammer of Dawn Strike for this, because there's not really that many open spaces for Hammer of Dawn Strikes to really work. Um, so I'm going a bit more Assault Rifle build and support, just for a lack. Like, soldiers really don't work all that well in this map, or in this mode. Unless you're, like, you can go a Hammer of Dawn Strike build and it works decently. Um, you can go, like, a bit of grenade spiking damage and that works okay. You can go assault rifle damage and, again, works okay. But versus, like, a heavy's drop shot damage, I'm still just trying to make sure I get a completed match with each class. So here I am. Got assault rifle damage, active reload boost. We've got assault rifle accuracy. Then team revive and cover boost. So like I'm gonna be laying in the back. I'm a bit more of a tanky guy. If we need revives, I got them, and that's what I'm going for. Sounds like a Walmart customer. He, I imagine he kind of was. I feel bad for him though, because it seems like, like it's he just seemed like he was flipping out. Like I like those cups of Coke. Me delivering them and not delivering them like bottles of Coke or like with without straws in them. Like I ruined his night, and I'm like man. I feel bad that that's where his mindset is. Like, I don't know what that dude's gone through. That he's that sensitive to something not exactly going his way. Like, you can sit there and not, like, I just, like, the empathy kind of kicked in. Wow, that's, that's wild, man. That's really wild. You guys need help over here with the snatcher? Yeah, I'll help out. Considering cold shots applied to him. There we go. When we get to wave three, I'm gonna start radar pinging and sniper strike. Okay, sounds good, man. Sounds good. I don't have any, I don't have any purchasables on it at the moment, so feel free to do whatever you want. But yeah, and we'll eventually try the nomad build out. I think it just it requires the map, whereas this map I can't really justify it because this map is pretty easy. Like we've got overhead coverage. There's no kestrels. We've got a pretty decent line down site that we can just keep unloading on. We've got a lot of room in the back of our base that we've also got safety with. I've got to turn on my fan because it's hot as sin in my room. You got 30 <laughs> seconds to reinforce Sorry, give me one moment. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh. oh that's better. Which, if you guys are popping in just for gears and you missed out on all the news about my leg, my leg is starting to heal quite a bit. 
and uh, I think I'm just about to the point where I don't need to elevate my leg anywhere near as much. I really need to be just like more flexing my leg and getting blood flowing through it. It seems like the clot's primarily cleared. Like we're doing, we're doing decent with it. Really enjoying your stream. Yo, Jake, I appreciate you, man. I enjoyed your stream last night, or well, not last night, but like, wait, what was it? Friday? Yeah, Friday. <laughs> and I apologize I can't catch anybody's streams on the weekends just because I'm always, oh, yeah. I'm just running about doing my Uber and everything like that. Making the money so I can do this for the rest of my time. But I appreciate that, man. It means a lot to me. Which I do, again, I always appreciate that about the Gears fam. It seems like so much of the Gears fam is like very, very welcoming, very helpful for each other. Like... A lot of us are there in unison. Now, given there's definitely some that aren't, um, and I'm not going to name names, but, like, it, it's nice that a lot of us are, like, here for each other. It makes me feel good. All right, there we go. Good, good. All right. Smooth sailing. But this has got to show how tough, like... And, and I guess this is part of the reason why I think Boss Rush isn't as well received as I thought it was going to be. Is because, like, now this mode is so difficult. Like, this this is not a recommended setup, right? This is a new version of Horde. Yes, it is Boss Rush Ice. This is what I was just talking about it kind of in uh, a bit more negative. Uh, in a bit more negative light. But, yeah, like, it's basically a ton of bosses rushing at you. And given the concept on paper is really cool. And, like, whenever you get a setup that works, it's a lot of fun. And plus, only having it as 10 waves is, it's, it's nice and short. You get to go through it nice and quickly. I would say its biggest problems that it faces is because it's only 10 waves, it's really hard to get any experience from it that's worthwhile. Like, I'm Wings 2 and I can play 10 of these matches and I won't get a level up. Like, it, 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 it's, it's that level of unfortunate with the, exper with the experience and stuff like that. And vice versa, um, or vice versa. It's gonna burst! As an effect, oh, yeah. you also don't get that many credits either. Boy, that's what out. I'm trying to say. Um, and second, this mode is so difficult now that we don't, like, we can't really rock that many compositions. It's really based off of the map. Which, I mean, given, it's really forcing us to, like, pick wisely, but there's just, there are so many builds that just don't work with this mode. And given, I'm, I'm being a little bit whiny and complaining, I guess, because I, like, and this isn't really on the design, it's not really on the Coalition's fault, because they went, they did the same thing we would do. Why don't we see what a match would be like if we had a bunch of bosses in here? And they went, okay, we hear you. And like, I can't really think of a great solution to this either. Like, do you make it less difficult? Do you try and buff things in particular? I mean, given the the, the XP ones, you just make the XP more. But like, as far as how to make it so more builds work with this, it's kind of the, it's the structure and the balance of the cards and where they stand and where the classes stand so any weakness gets like immediately exposed from this yeah more experience would be huge but like okay how can you make a soldier work where like their grenades don't do as much damage as a heavy's drop shot their hammer of dawn doesn't do as much as uh, it's not as effective as a sniper sniper strike hammer burst and drop shot and locker hey thank you <laughs> But like, yeah, yeah, I mean, Nexus, I feel you on that, but like, how how can we make, like, what can be done to help out the gameplay side of this? Like, I mean, it's not because of the XP and credits that we failed, what, like three or four matches today? Like, there's, there's more to it than that, right? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. Uh, actually, I'm gonna grab, yeah, I'll grab the universe. It'll do some really good damage, uh, especially from long range. That'll be good, that'll be good. See, so I can just sit here and poke it for a little bit. There we go. Go. Nice work. One of the snatchers is dead. Already two enemies left. Holy crap. Oh, it's because uh, faints rolling sniper strikes. That makes sense. Bring it. There we go. Snatcher's dead. Nice work, guys. And then we've just got one carrier left. I just, I, I don't know if that, oh, 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 I don't know if that sound's gonna bleed through onto the video, and I just, I always gotta be careful of that due to copyrights! Nice! 
like shooting from cover for soldiers that could be nice it could really help them utilize and just tell them that yeah the way of this way and route of doing cover based gameplay for a soldier is the way to go i can see that yeah that wouldn't be too bad increases like inc slightly increases damage like it doesn't even have to be like what if it was like a 10 percent damage increase whenever you're sitting in cover with assault rifles for example hey, or what if it was just a general 10 percent damage increase just to try and compete with heavies that wouldn't be a bad idea and I'm, and that was something i was oh i talked about early on when i started playing gears i'm like i wonder why it is that scouts are the only class with a passive their passive is whenever they pick up power they get uh before a wave ends they get double the power no other class has a passive like if an engineer does like i feel like an engineer should definitely have uh like build cost build cost should just be included i feel like it's just they get a percentage yeah. discount on anything that they buy and that makes them a crucial part of any setup now given a lot of engineer cards do work out that way but imagine not having to worry about that imagine having just discounts built in inherently just that extra little help and then you could also build build cost so that you could also double up on that if you wanted to that'd be nice i'm tanking a little bit i'm gonna run thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you uh yo you guys are, i was gonna say Hey, carrier. Oh yeah, that's true. They do have the repair torch for free. Let's I wonder what a heavy's this. bonus would be, though. It's like part of me makes me think that thick skin should be inherent, because I mean we do see a lot of these instances where people end up shooting their feet and it ends up killing them, and also that could help discourage the uh, people shooting their feet setup because I mean. As much as we use that because it's necessary, like, it's not a great concept. <laughs> I, I know and I hope they're going to get rid of that in Gears 5, because, like, I, I as much as I'm, like, fairly... I don't really stand one way or another on actually doing it. I'm not really against it. It's whatever, but, like, it is dumb. Okay, everybody in the middle, in the beginning of the match, kill yourself. <laughs> okay. It's a little silly, you know. Now, for snipers, I don't know, like, I just immediately assume getting extra damage on headshots with any weapon that you've got, which seems like that would be fair. So then if they wanted to pick up a Lancer, they could, given it wouldn't stack with Magic Bullet, but it would stack their damage. And then soldiers, yeah, they would get a damage boost for whenever, they, whenever they're shooting from cover. That would work. Or at least I think it would on, at least on paper it sounds pretty good. Hello, hello. We're on wave seven. I would say if we got uh, room for sniper strikes, we need to be sniper striking. There we go, nice job. Morning, Xenon, how you doing today? Nice job with those sniper strikes, man. Trade power with other players? Could, uh, yeah, actually that wouldn't be a bad idea either. Drone marked. Just initiate that first set of team play? That could be pretty good. I'm doing well, man. I'm doing fantastic. Given we're just trying to get a good win under our belts with a, uh, with a soldier on insane boss rush here. But apart from that, everything else is going pretty damn diddly. And I've got a whole bunch of new tech goodies uh, here at the home that I'm really excited about. I am really excited. Is it sad that I'm really excited about the inexpensive stuff that's coming like i got a new hdmi splitter on my on the way and like i'm just pumped that it'll hopefully fix my hdmi splitter issues of it like blanking out and like all that crap like i'm just excited about that for context on that quote phenomenal and i'm not saying it out loud but <laughs> um i'm pretty sure that was based off of clementine from telltale's the walking dead <laughs> Okay, wave eight, which we're just we're hammering right through this. We got five seconds left. I'm just going to get this. Are they at 2.5 yet? No. Okay, they're at 2.0 still. Yeah, buddy. I'm on my way back. Barbecue sauce. Hey, we got a snatcher behind us. Hey, come on, man. Shit hurt. 
Snatcher behind us in the back lines. Poop on its face. Uh, people are going down. Where are you guys going? Where are you guys going down at? And also stop it. All right, there we go. We got smooth back up. Uh, okay, he's spit back up. Nice, nice. Nice team revive. Nice work. Nice work. And the snatcher's dead. All right, turn and turn and burn. Turn and burn. All right, I'm just gonna loop around here and get a clean shot. There we go. Nice work, smooth. Good stuff, dude. We've got it going on for years. Oh, yeah. Practice Everybody makes perfect. groove to the music. Everybody jam. I don't know if I told you guys this. You, uh, I don't know if I told you guys this, but uh, probably about a month, two months ago, I went back to my mom's place and I uh, she had a bunch of Backstreet Boys CDs and stuff like that. And I just decided, you know what? I'm going to take these home and I'm going to rip them onto my MP3 player in my car. Just so I have them to listen to, and uh, so yeah, they're, they're in there. They're in my mix. So like, I'll get Sonata Arctica, Nightwish, a lot of metal, Backstreet Boys. It's beautiful. But you know what? I'm not even ashamed of it either. Because I'll, I'll just jam it. I will crank it up. Like that, that 90s pop music, man, that worked. In some cases. I also had 98 Degrees in there, and I have one of their albums. I think it's just called 98 Degrees. And, uh... A lot of those songs are not great. They are, uh, they are... Okay. As far as the kings of boy bands, it was undoubtedly Backstreet Boys. NSYNC is also up there. Like, they did all right, but, like, I started going through NSYNC songs, and I'm like, man, I'm just not finding as many, like, instant classics and stuff like that. I was worried about a phenomenon. I was worried about that title. But it's always great whenever, like, I I roll down the window for somebody for Uber, and, like, it's like, hey, are you Josh? Yeah, I'm Josh. How you doing today, man? Good. You are my fire. It just starts blaring out at them. Sorry, sorry. Let me get your pizza out, man. <laughs> and then they probably look at me as I'm leaving, and then, you know, they see me in the car. I never want to hear you say... You know, just jamming out. I have no regrets. Nice sniper strikes, man. Good work, good work. Uh, who went down? Nexus got curb stomped. Uh, do we have a team revive in the house? Nice. Yeah, that way he can keep picking up power. Scouts are pretty worth it to pick up power, especially if they die this early on. Hands down, pretty worth it. All right, I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. I got you. Grenadier spotted! Man, go, go down and give up. Oh, wow. Okay, I see how it is, Smooth. <laughs> I saw that. I saw that drop shot, man. Trying to drop shot a swarm drone when he's down. Oh, boy. I caught that at the last second. Spread out, spread out. I'll focus on him. All right, he's focused on the point, and he's dead, he's dead. I got you. Oh, I don't have you. Thank you, guys. All right, so I got to pick up a weapon from the back. I am a little shy. I guess I'm going to... I'll just focus on using the hammer burst then. Never mind. Oh, don't you know. That's a big old never mind for me. And I'm not I'm not using cover boost as much because it doesn't give me po it doesn't give me damage bonus. See now that now that Potato said that now I'm like that's a brilliant idea. I'll make these count. Cause like the soldier does need just a little bit of something else, or I wonder if there's any way to scale it up as you go. And I think that was that that's something that could be interesting for Gears Five is like what if they had scalable scalable cards and things that worked up as you went through the waves you have your cards that you level up and everything but what if there was passives to it that increased uh, as you level as you kept going because like i mean right now we just see it where the scout or not the scout excuse me the soldier is just so underpowered in these last few waves it really hurts them and i, w I worry a little bit though like they're really strong early game if you do end up 
giving them a 10% damage boost if they're gonna just be like completely kill hogging in the first like say five to ten waves you know that might be a little bit too much they might be a little bit overpowered even on this first ten waves it's gonna burst i'm just gonna keep focusing on whatever's in front of me we've got this as a bag though if you want to talk about a map that's pretty darn easy for insane boss rush if you need to complete one of these I encourage doing a Relic. Relic is an easy map to do. It's nice and spread out. Relic, Raven Down, and Hotel would be my top three. Probably giving the bronze medal to Hotel, second place to Raven Down. Honestly, Relic is freaking easy. The pillars are blocking a lot of the canker shots. We got a lot of space on this map. Um, like, it, it just freaking works, man. Oh, and Checkout's pretty good, too. Actually, hmm. Checkout might be a little bit easier than Hotel. Yeah, yeah, I think that's fair to say. Just because you got a lot of, like, these really clear lines of sight that you can unload on, say, carries and stuff like that from really far away. Oh, 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 I did a dumb. No! That was my first death, and it happened with one enemy left. No! Finish the wave off. Finish it off. Oh, oh, I'm back. Okay. Sorry, I was, I was being a little drama queen. Can you it? There we go. Good game. Now my next step with all of these is just keep experimenting with boss rush builds as long as this mode goes. And I can, I can nitpick with that until the bitter end and see how we do. But good game, guys. Good work. We got it done. I know these end up being the same maps over and over again. These are the ones that work, and we keep, we're keep we gonna keep trying the other maps until we actually succeed with them, but just, damn, son.